So the other day I got the cream whipper and I started to do the video and I realized that we had the wrong uh, N20, N2O canisters. Ours was double this. And so you need, an, I think it's an 8 ounce and they're just called whip it or cream charger. I gotta tell you that I felt a little bit weird and guilty calling around for whippets. I felt like people thought maybe I was a drug addict because these whippet things are known for being abused. But so anyway, I had already put my cream in the container, so this has been in the fridge, which is actually awesome for this because this will be a nice fluffy cream. The colder the better. And then what you do is this is the part for the canister and this is for your cream spout so it comes with three in plastic and the plastic so it matches has or it comes in three in the stainless and has a stainless holder so all you do is screw I'm okay screw the nozzle on and then you let me make sure they all fit in here the same So you put your canister inside here and then for safety, which is an awesome thing, you just put this on here and you start screwing it on. The um, As you screw it down, it's going to puncture and then you're going to hear, there we go. So now the Whippet container is emptied into here. And I think you take it off now. Let's see. Screw the charger holder onto the inlet valve until the charger content is released with a hissing sound. One charger for each filling. Shake the whipper briskly four to five times in a vertical direction. Uh, when using well-cooled light cream or the mixture, shake up to 10 times. Unscrew the charger holder and charger. The light hissing sound while unscrewing is normal. Remove and discard the empty steel charger, which are recyclable as scrap metal. To dispense, hold the whipper vertically. So it says to give it a few shakes. When it's well chilled, about 10 times, I'm going to do about 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, so I just, um, and now it says to remove the charger. I wish I was back further so that you have a better view of what I'm doing. Let me see, this is going to be a good mix. Let me pull the There we go. So now once the charger is in, you unscrew it. It says you'll hear a hissing. And they said that's normal. You take it off. And now you discard this. And does this go in here? I don't know. No. This just goes on here. And then you throw away your used thing and you can see there's a hole in it now and this had a little seal on the top so it says you do it vertically oh and it came out like liquid you need to shake it up i did shake it let me shake it again Vertical it's means up. you're laying down. Up? It's horizontal. 
Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm so confused. You're gonna have to do like this. I guess. No. Oops, we're getting stuff all over. So this is what I'm. This is what I'm getting, like a soup right now. It's a little bit. It's my Jello. Uh, let me make sure what size these are. N two O. Does it say on there that they're eight ounce? Nope. Eight grams. Yes, it's right. Yep. So I'm not sure why I'm getting. I'm not. I'm not getting anything. Uh, the only thing I can think of is to do another one. Maybe that one was a dud. So well, hopefully that's not a bad. Can you give me a towel, a, a, a paper towel? It's, it's dripping out. I'm going to unscrew it and release if there is any pressure. You think? Eh, I'm scared, Mommy. Well, I'll show you the difference they have. So, for some reason, it there is no... Uh, no fluff going on here. Mm, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to start over. So I have put fresh cream in. Because I don't want to, you know, I know these things work. And um, to me, uh, that cream was in this canister. Um... Let's see, I had to mail off to Amazon to get a new one. So I'm going to shake it up because I put some sugar in. Now I'm going to take the canister and make sure it's one that has... Oh, there's already one in the thing. So let's see... I'm going to put a thing on there and do the same thing here. Make sure you can see me. I put the canister in here. Make sure this is on tight. I'm so glad I listened to my son when he said not a good idea because there would have been a massive mess over here, so. Ah, oh, the first time, I don't know, I definitely did not get that sound. It was just a little, so that means that that um, canister was probably not good. Um, if you remember just a few seconds ago, it just went like, pss, and this I hear, I really heard like, Shh, I heard a lot. So now it says to, Shake it. Don't break it. Okay, so it says to... Let me just repeat myself here. I think it said horizontal. No, no, no. Vertical. Briskly four to five times in a vertical position. That is the shaking. And when using well-cooled light cream, about 10... The hissing sound while screwing is normal. Pointing downwards. Ah, yay! Now we got it. There we go. I'm so happy.
Mmm, tastes good. So, obviously, there you can get a bad whip it. And, uh, oh, so the other thing I just almost forgot is when you're done and it's loaded, you take off the unit. I guess you don't really have to have this on, but I would imagine I would want to protect that. So. Here we go. Voila. So, let me, I better try some of this. I can't believe they make me eat this stuff. It's awesome. All right. So, works great. Make sure you get the eight gram. We, I think we got 12. It was actually meant for a BB gun and not a whipped cream machine. So I'll put the link down below. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, a little bit scary, out of my comfort zone, never had done anything like this one before. But it's fun. And now I will just keep this in my fridge. Uh, each canister is good for one use. Once you open this, it's going to let off the air. And uh, definitely, uh, if you remember a second ago, I was going to take that off and start over. Um, thankfully, I let off the air in the sink, and or else the, it was a mess over there. If I would have done that over here, it would have been, I would have cried. Yeah, I would have cried a lot. Alright, so this is the cream whipper. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.